Hey guys, it's Metacosis Perfectionalis. One more time, continuing our discussion about pulmonology playlist. Today, we will continue and compare between hypersensitivity pneumonitis and sarcoidosis. It's gonna be amazing, and let's get started. Hypersensitivity pneumonitis versus sarcoidosis. Is it related to ethnicity? Hypersensitivity? Nope. Sarcoidosis is commoner in black population or in the Caribbean population. Gender. Hypersensitivity pneumonitis is commoner in male just because those occupations overall are commoner in males. Farmers, bird keepers, machine operators, detergent workers, etc. Sarcoidosis is commoner in females and I have no idea why. Occupational history. Farmer, bird breeder, worker, etc. Sarcoidosis, it's not related to any occupational history. Cough or dyspnea, yes and yes. Both are lung diseases. Non case reaching granuloma, yes in both of them. In hypersensitivity, it's less dense and poorly defined. In sarcoid, it's denser and well defined. Bilateral hyalur lymphadenopathy and hypersensitivity, nope. In sarcoidosis, yep. Uveitis, no. Yes, in sarcoidosis. Does that mean that every patient with sarcoid? No, no, no. But a certain percentage of them will get uveitis. Restrictive cardiomyopathy? No. With sarcoid? Yes. And I've told you before that sarcoidosis has two restrictive problems. Restrictive cardiomyopathy and restrictive lung disease. Neuropathy. In hypersensitivity pneumonitis? No. In sarcoid? Yes. Erythemonodosum? Nope. Yes. Hepatosplenomegaly? No. Yes. Hypercalcemia or hypercalcemia? No. Yes. Serum A is normal. Hi. How about if you get bronchoalveolar lavage and you find T helper to T suppressor cell? In hypersensitivity pneumonitis, it's less than 1 over 1. Translation, the helper cells are less than the suppressor cells. In sarcoid, the helper cells are a lot more than the suppressor cells. Are steroids helpful? Yes, because it's hypersensitivity. And you know, steroids are anti-inflammatory immunosuppressants, etc. And same thing in sarcoidosis. It's usually an autoimmune or an immune-related disease, and steroids are immunosuppressants. If you are struggling to learn about Legionella, Mycoplasma, Pseudomonas, Rhinovirus, etc., check out this website called PICMonic. They have pictured mnemonics for medical students, nursing students, dental students, pharmacy students, etc. The link is in the description below. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and join the tribe. Hit the bell and smash like. You can follow me on Facebook, I have more than 100 cases there. Get my Dropbox organized notes, including the slides of this video, my premium notes, my cases, my post notes, my PDFs, my audio notes at patreon.com slash medicosis. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to be safe, stay happy, and study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.